Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Sunday if you're watching this when I upload it. I hope you guys have all had a good week. We're back with the normal camera this week because as I said, I trialed my other camera last week and it just did not, <laughs> it did not deliver. When I actually exported everything into my laptop, I couldn't even upload the whole video any higher than 720p quality. Usually everything goes up in 1080p quality and I couldn't upload it higher than 720p. So I apologize for the bad quality of last week's video. I'm back to my normal camera. I'm still kind of considering um, upgrading my vlogging camera. I am currently using a Canon. However, I have been contemplating getting a Sony. I have heard good things about them. So I might just have a little dabble and see what's good. <laughs> but yeah, this video I thought I would just kind of take you through a bit of my week. I'm doing a glutes workout this morning, which I will take you along on. I'm also doing a food shop today and just a little bit of a reset for the week ahead. It has just been Mother's Day yesterday. So at the weekend, I was just kind of spending time with my mum and my sister. So I hadn't like done a food shop. I hadn't, you know, done anything really to sort myself out for this week. So it's currently Monday and I thought that we could do that together today. And yeah, we just have some fun fun things going on this week on friday it is anton's birthday so he is coming home and yeah i'm excited for that we're going for a meal friday night and yeah i'm going for a blow dry this week i had my first ever blow dry on friday absolutely loved it this is it's monday now and this is from the blow dry it's obviously dropped a lot but i feel like there's just a very subtle wave and style to it which i really like so and it also saves me from <laughs> washing my hair that sounds like the laziest thing in the world but if somebody can wash my hair for me I am going to take that opportunity. I really want to start being one of those girls that gets blow dries like a little bit more regularly. Probably not every week, that's a bit too, too extravagant, but maybe a couple of times a month I'll get a blow dry or if I have, you know, something on like an event or just something that I want to have nice hair for that I cannot do myself. <laughs> I feel like it's nice to just, you know, go get a blow dry and treat myself. So I'm getting that this week. Uh, that is for Anton's birthday. I want to get a blow dry. But yeah, we can do some cooking this week as well. And as I said, I'm going to take you to the shops with me today to do my food shop. And I'll take you along on a couple of workouts as well. This is just going to kind of be me kind of getting back on track. I feel like I've definitely been slacking um, the past few days. So I'm just gonna, nothing major, nothing, you know, extravagant or anything like that. Just doing things to help me feel a little bit more on track for this week ahead. So yeah, as I said, I'm gonna train glutes today. That is what I've currently got ready for and what I'm about to head out for. This is my outfit of the day. I am just a neutrals girl through and through. I love my browns. I love my neutrals, everything like that. Um, these shorts, I think, are walnut or chestnut. And then the same with this top. Either walnut or chestnut, either one of these, I can't remember which is which, um, from Honor. And if you do want to shop any Honor, you can shop through my support link in the description. But yeah, I did also want to just like update you on a couple of things that I'm doing at the moment. For example, I have changed my entire skincare routine. That might sound so boring to some people, but I don't know if I mentioned in a YouTube video, but I have started getting hydrofacials. I have my second ever hydrofacial on Friday and I have been absolutely loving them. And the place that I go to stocks a brand called ZO, ZO Health. Um, skincare and I have honestly heard the most amazing things about that brand and it's kind of famous for like clearing skin like blemish prone skin spots acne all of that it's basically like medical grade skincare so you can't like buy it online or like in stores you either have to get it over the counter at a pharmacy or you know like certain facial places will stock it my facial place stocks it because they use that for the facials and um, but I asked basically if she recommends it and she was like 100% so I did spend a little bit of money on it. Actually, not a little bit. It was a lot. It cost me a lot of money for the skincare. Like, it is expensive stuff. But I feel like when it comes to skincare and stuff, I don't mind spending a little bit more money if <laughs> it's gonna, you know, actually do something. That is the kind of thing that I would like to invest my money in because that's obviously something that's gonna make you feel more confident if you have got clear skin. And genuinely, guys, I have been using it for... So, so I started using it on Friday. It's now Monday. Three days my skin honestly feels unreal this is the best my skin has felt in ages and i had like a couple of breakouts because i'm currently on my period so i had like pre-period skin a few days ago it has cleared them already and like they're flat and they're already like 
you know, fading away, which never usually happens. I usually have like, say there's a spot, I usually have a scar for like a couple of weeks. My skin feels so smooth and like my spots have all gone down. I have no texture. All I have is a little bit of scarring. After like three days, it's insane. Obviously I've paid for all of this. It's not like an ad or anything. <laughs> I wish it was, but it's not sponsored by the brand or anything, but I would just highly recommend. Obviously I've only been using it for three days, so I will give you guys a little bit more of an update as the weeks go on, but so far, I am absolutely loving it. Really, really recommend. And I also started the third book in the Akata series, A Court of Wings and Ruin, I think it's called. I'll go grab it. This one, I started this last night. This is, I think this is the chunkiest one in the series. This is a big boy. Um, so that might take me a while to get through, a few weeks, but I'm really excited to see what happens in this one because something kind of like, if you've read it, you'll know what I mean, but something pretty big happened at the end of the last one. So I was intrigued to start reading this. I've already read through like four chapters since last night because it just had me really hooked at the end of the last one and I wanted to see what happened. Um, so yeah, that is currently where I'm at with this series. I know you guys always want an update on this book series that I'm reading because it is so popular right now. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Also, I'm gonna take you guys through some hauls, I think this week as well. I have done a little bit of splurging shopping wise this week, which is unlike me at all. I tend to like never really spend my money on clothes outside of the gym, which sounds really like bad. Um, but this year, I really, really want to start, I said it in my last video, but I really, really want to start putting effort into my outfits outside of the gym. I want to post more fashion content because I genuinely love things like that and I just really want to start putting more effort into outside of the gym sort of stuff. I'm posting outfit pictures and stuff and just outfits that I really love alongside my fitness content, of course. As I have mentioned, like I am more than fitness, you know? Like I'm not just in the gym 24 seven. Yes, it's a big part of my life, but I also love a lot of other things at the same time. So I definitely wanna bring more of that over to my channel. And yeah, I have a few orders coming this week. So I'm gonna show you guys those as well. I picked up some things in um, Selfridges at the weekend as well. So I'll show you those when the other stuff comes. I'll just do like one big haul and let you know where everything is from. Yeah, that is a current update from me. <laughs> Sorry for the really long intro, the long chatty intro. I'm gonna head to the gym now and train glutes. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm I'm gonna have a little bit of pre-workout first. I have already had a coffee today, but I had it like a couple of hours ago. So I'm just gonna have one scoop of pre, just as a little bit of a kick. And I'm using my Pride Pre from EHP. If you guys wanna get any money off EHP, by the way, you can just use my code Mia and it will give you 10% off. I also have to show you what I picked up yesterday. This is the new addition to the family. <laughs> My new jelly cat, it is an espresso bean. And please excuse the state of my coffee machine right now, but I just had to perch him on top of the machine. Look how cute that looks. I feel like I need a name for him. I don't know what to call him. I was thinking, actually no, I wasn't thinking anything. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me know in the comments what you think I should call him, but I'm just obsessed. I am actually a sucker for jelly cats. Like I hate to admit it because they're so expensive. They're so overpriced and it's actually such a scam. But some of them are just so cute and I actually just can't, I can't resist. So yeah, there he is. He is gonna be in all of my videos from now on because he's so cute. But yeah, I'm almost done with this tub. I'm just gonna have one scoop. Excuse the washing machine as well, by the way, if you can hear that. I put my sheets in the wash last night because it was fake tan night last night. I usually do my fake tan routine on a Sunday or a Monday. And I feel like it always just helps me feel set up for the week when I have a fresh tan. I don't know about anybody else, but like having fresh hair and then a fresh tan makes me feel so motivated. It sounds really, you know, like shallow and like, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really, but for me it really does. And it is really true what they say. If you look good, you feel good. And that is so true and something that I have really learned to realize over the past few weeks. Obviously, as I've said, I've been feeling a little bit down and just really, really, really low motivation over the past like month throughout February. And I genuinely think it's because I was neglecting my appearance a little bit. It literally sounds so silly, but you know, I was leaving my hair, this is so gross, but I was leaving my hair not washed for like a long period of time. I wasn't doing my makeup really. And I just felt so 
awful externally which made me feel so awful internally and as I said it does sound really shallow and like you know you shouldn't have to look good on the outside to feel good but sometimes you know looking nicer on the outside you know feeling a little bit more confident on the outside does literally make all the difference to how you're feeling on the inside and you shouldn't ever feel ashamed of that and you know if you want a bit of an external glow up because you think it'll make you feel better then absolutely do that not that it's going to fix all your problems and you know make all your problems go away but this is your sign to just put more effort into some self-care if you've been feeling down because i promise you a little bit of self-care will make you feel even just that littlest bit better and it's something that i'm really prioritizing going into a fresh week especially and yeah it just makes me feel more motivated that's all so yeah gosh this is like i feel like i've spoken so much at the start of this video i'm really sorry let me know if you prefer more like chatty videos where i'm just literally chewing your ear off or you prefer me to be i don't know doing stuff although i am going to be doing stuff in this video but if you want me to chat less let me know gosh my fridge is looking a little well it's looking very sad <laughs> today i'm excited to go for a food shop i've been getting into the habit a bad habit of just ordering um my food shops like online where they come in the same day from amazon but as I work from home, I find sometimes being at home all day other than the gym does make me feel quite lethargic and it does make me feel like, I don't know, yeah, like lethargic. So making my effort to go out and actually do my food shops um, is something that I am doing more lately rather than just being lazy and ordering it to my building. So yeah, I'm going to put one scoop of this in my bottle and then we're going to head to the gym. Niggas been cramping my style. Know my heart, they wanna reply. Let's see, it's everything I wish to put my enemies. See me doing well with money, we'll be running like high. I'm a slide. Anytime you want to, I'm put your mission down. I'm gonna teach you how to stand. Yep. I say, bounce that shit like whoa. Yep. Bounce that shit like whoa. Tell me to eat my kids, huh? They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. I have finished with my session. I'm just about to head home. I'm literally setting off from the gym right now. I have not had um, a good glute session like that in so long. Like that was actually so good. I feel like I was just in the zone and yeah, I felt really strong, which is strange because I am currently on my period, but I feel like it's the week before 
the period that's the worst and then when you actually come on your period it's not actually that bad it's it is literally the pms the week before when you feel like weak and stuff and then i literally feel like as soon as i come on i feel back to normal sort of anybody else it's the same with my skin as well so like the whole week before i will break out so bad and then as soon as i come on it's like the spots all just vanish it is so weird <laughs> it's actually a myth that people say you get spots on your period it is before but yeah that was an unreal session i feel like i'm just in such a good mood now this is your sign if you've been putting it off today over the weekend to go and do your session but yeah as you will have seen i did rdl's hip thrusts i actually also tried a new machine that my gym has got in my gym has like just recently inputted a like glutes section um and i hadn't even like been in it yet so i feel like i just had to try something in there that was new and it was like a hyper extension machine um but like obviously as a machine i would usually do hyper extensions with maybe just like a dumbbell or a plate um just like free weight but i thought it was really good i got such a good connection in my glutes i never usually do that exercise i don't know why i feel like i need to start implementing it back into my routine I, i'm just so used to doing kickbacks and then also step ups and if it's not broke don't fix it do you know what i mean so i feel like i've just been neglecting the hyper extensions but you get an all-in-one like you get hamstring connection and a glute connection in it so i feel like i'm definitely going to start incorporating it back into my routine and now that there's that machine it's making me want to do it even more because there's just something about like cables cable kind of attachment machines that just gives the best connection in the glutes instead of free words like does anybody else agree um i also just want to apologize as well for the filming on my phone i realized i got to the gym i fully brought my camera tripod and everything and i realized that i don't have the little um attachment that you put onto the camera that goes onto the tripod as soon as i was about to start filming i was like god damn so I filmed it all on my phone and I hope you don't mind. I feel like the quality is still good, but it's not like camera quality good, but oh well, you still saw what I was doing. And yeah, as I was saying, if you have been contemplating going to the gym or you've been feeling a little bit lazy and you've not gone to the gym this weekend or today, this is your sign to go because it honestly just makes you feel so much better. Like I feel like I feel in such a good mood now that I've been and had an actual good session. And even if you don't, have session is bound to put you in a better mood than you were in before i feel like any movement is better than not yeah i'm gonna go home now it's 10 to 1 um and i feel like i need to do my food shop now because i have no meat in all of the meat is that i have is in my freezer so i need to go to the shops and get some meat so i think i'm gonna do my food shop before i make my dinner because i don't really have a choice <laughs> i don't have any meat any protein for my dinner so yeah i will see you guys back at home and when i'm going to the shops i think i'm gonna go to lidl today just nice and cheap all right i've just decided to go to lidl because it is literally one minute down the road i was gonna go to morrison's because morrison's is my favorite and they do the best yogurt but whoa whoa i was looking crazy then um yeah i would prefer to go to morrison's but to be honest i don't really know where there's a big morrison's around me they're like they're all about half an hour away and whenever i search for a morrison's they're all uh, like the small ones but i need like a big big boy so yeah i'm gonna go to lidl um they do have runny yogurt but you know it's fine it's something i can put up with if i have to
stuff that I have bought recently. So as I said earlier, I got an online delivery today from Manier de Bois, and then I also got some stuff at the weekend in the shops. So I'm gonna show you guys. I haven't even opened these myself, as you can tell, so I'm excited. I just wanted to get a lot of like basics because honestly, I lack nice basics so much. So I got some tops and I also got um, some jeans, I think. Cargos, I got some cargos. And I really, really hope that these all fit. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> I've completely forgot what I ordered. Okay, these are like, they're kind of like leather, but they're also kind of not leather. Um, cargos, which I think are really cool. Um, I'm hoping they're not too long. Mm, they are quite long. Maybe with heels, but I'm really just trying. I just kind of like love streetwear style clothes and I really want to get some nice streetwear style things that I can just wear to dinners and stuff because again, I really struggle with outfits for when I have an occasion on because I genuinely don't have anything. And what I do have, I just repeat it what I'm wearing all the time, which is obviously there's nothing wrong with repeating outfits, but you know, I just wanted to have some stuff that was new and I actually like. Okay, this is the next item. Sorry if my armpits are sweaty, by the way. This is the top that I wore <laughs> for the gym. I am gonna get a shower after this. Okay, this is the first top. This, I don't think this is matching with this. No, these are not matching, but they do look very similar. Um, but I got this to basically wear with cargos, jeans, skirts, anything like that. Um, and it's got like the, what do you call this? Corset kind of thing in there. And I'm hoping it fits around my back because it's got a zip, which obviously means it's got like no stretch. And my back is very wide. <laughs> the boobs, no problem. But the back, I sometimes have to size up to an eight because stuff doesn't fit around my back. So yeah, that is the first one. I really like that though. That is more like leather. All of these tops that I got are basically the same, just in different colours. They're all corset style tops. Um, oh, I really like that one. <gasps> that is so nice. Okay, this is the next one. Kind of the same, but in black. I, I really like that. It's get, that's giving boobs. Like, I would definitely <laughs> have to wear a bra with that, I think, because ain't nothing filling that out. It's so nice. With some jeans. Oh, I love that. Let's hope they all fit. <laughs> and then the next one, I really like this one. I'm excited to do like um, a double denim sort of vibe. So I would wear this with like blue jeans. That is really cute. This one doesn't have a bra in it and it's quite a low plunge, not gonna lie. Um, but that is really cute. Obviously they all are the same style and vibe. So that is the last top. And then the next thing I got was very impulsive because it was basically reduced from like 140 pounds to um, 30, or 40, 30 or 40 pounds, I think. And I thought that that was a steal. <laughs> I got roped into the marketing. What is this? So this is basically a jacket, like coat kind of thing. But I thought it was so sick. <gasps> oh my God, I love that. That is so nice. I love that. And although it's not really winter anymore, I am still gonna wear this. I'm gonna put this on now. That is so cute. I love that. What do you guys think? I feel like this would look really cool with jeans and stuff. Obviously ignore my outfit right now. That is so nice. And then in Selfridges at the weekend, I got a couple of Skims bits. So I have actually worn this, which is why it's really, really creased. But I got this literally just plain black. Um, top, like just the basic top skims is just so stretchy. <laughs> and then I also got this bodysuit. I do already have this in black, but I really, really love it. So I saw this brown color and thought that was really nice as well. They also have this like really nice light blue color, but it's always out of stock in store. So maybe another time. And then this was like really random. I was not going to get this at all, but I saw how they styled it on the mannequin and it really inspired me. So there's these like skims boxes. I'm pretty sure these, these are from the Valentine's collection. She said they're not getting restocked because they were like limited edition. But I got this little top and the boxes set. And the way they styled it on the mannequin, they basically put it with like a full gray tracksuit and the boxes were like sticking, like coming up over the top of the joggers so you could see them above the joggers. And then like they just had the hoodie like slung over and I just thought it looked like so nice. I can wear that 
with my honor gray tracksuit. So I hope that comes to life in my head, how I'm envisioning it. But I'm definitely gonna wear that soon. Um, and then I also got some jeans. So these are from Jaded London. I've never actually purchased anything from Jaded London, but I've heard really good things about them. And they are kind of like, I'd say they're like the mid price range. They're not um, cheap at all, but they're not like expensive. It's like less than a hundred pounds for a pair of jeans. These, I think these were 80 pounds, which is obviously still like quite a lot, but on the nicer quality side of things for a pair of jeans, it's not actually too bad. But I just thought these were so sick. Like I just, Thought, thought they were cool and I never usually buy things like this because I just think like I'm never gonna wear them but I'm gonna make the effort to wear things like this more often because I really like love this kind of style of things on other people so yeah I'm definitely gonna wear things like that more often and then lastly I got this hoodie that I've been wearing for this entire vlog basically this is from Cole Buxton I literally said in my last video that I wasn't gonna get a Cole Buxton um, tracksuit but this doesn't really have any branding on it which I quite like I just really liked the acid wash colour of it. I don't have a hoodie this colour and it's obviously such nice quality. It's also really boxy and I got it in a medium so that it's oversized and yeah I really really love it. But that is everything for now. I do have another couple of deliveries that will be coming this week as well so when they come I will show you guys but yeah that is everything for now. I am gonna go get a shower in a minute and I'm gonna do my evening skincare and stuff. Yeah I hope you enjoyed the little haul. Okay, I hope you can hear me all right. You are on a box of tampons, so I hope that's not like messing up the sound quality. Um, I don't know if to take my glasses off because the glare, there is a lot of glare on these glasses in this bathroom. But I just wanted to quickly talk you guys through my new skincare routine. When I tell you I am absolutely obsessed with this routine genuinely, as I was saying earlier, I have seen amazing changes in my skin within like three days. I am honestly so happy with these products. I'm obviously saying this now, it's not been a long time, um, but I can honestly tell already that these are 100% worth the money. I've been putting it off for a while getting it because like, I'll tell you how much it cost me like after I've shown you it all, but I did get quite a lot to be honest. Um, but anyway, okay, so what I do when I wear makeup is I take it off with my Elemis cleansing balm, Pro Collagen cleansing balm. This is, I got this a couple of weeks ago, I didn't get this the other day when I went to get my facial. I already had this, but this is still a new product um, for me. As you can tell, I've not used a lot of this, but I had heard amazing things about this and I really wanted to try it because a couple of vlogs ago, I was taking my makeup off and I was just telling you guys how like my eyes got really red and my skin was red. I think it was from, you know when you use a cotton pad and you like rub it over your eyes? I think that's why my eyes usually always go a little bit red when I take my makeup off. But since using that, you know, when I just gently massage it off with my fingers and then use the cloth that it comes with to wipe it all off really gently, my eyes are not red anymore. So I'm really happy with that. And I just, it smells honestly insane. It smells like a spa. I look forward to my showers every night to use that product. So yeah, I'm really loving that. And then next I will go in with the Z-O, Zo, I don't know how you say it, I'm gonna say Zo. Zo Skin Health Exfoliating Cleanser. And as I said, this brand and this range is for like blemish prone skin. So it says here, normal to oily skin. This cleanser is insane. It has, as it says, it's an exfoliating cleanser, but it's like a gentle exfoliator. It has like beads in it, um, but it's really gentle. It's not like a harsh exfoliator. And then when I get out of the shower or after I've washed my face, I go in with these complexion renewal pads. This is also all the stuff I've been recommended by my facialist and this is the steps that she told me to do this in and this is what it said on the packet, what direction to use all these products. So the complexion renewal pads, my facialist has said to me at the moment to just cut these in half and use half a pad in the morning and then half a pad at night, which is what I have been doing and these smell really strong. Like they are very, very strong and they do make my skin go slightly a little bit red when I first put it on. She just said that you need to kind of work your skin up to it, which is why I should only use half a pad at first. I don't actually really know 
what these do i think she said that it kind of like takes off the top layer of your skin sort of it's kind of like it's just this complexion renewal pads i'm not an expert my, my facialist was telling me what they do but i can't really remember what she said but i trust her and then i also got the exfoliate and polish so she also told me to use this maybe like once or twice a week. This is an actual, I haven't used it yet. This is an actual exfoliator. So that is what it looks like. Um, it's like a little cream. But yeah, I haven't used that yet, but I'm excited to use that. And then I also got um, the complexion clearing mask. She also told me to only maybe do this once or twice a week as well. It's obviously a face mask and she said this will just kind of clear out my pores. I did use this yesterday and I really liked it. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Oh, and she also gave me, uh, well, I bought, <laughs> she didn't give me it. I wish she just gave me it. I bought it. Um, this SPF because I am actually like, I'm so bad for this. Like I don't really wear SPF, like that's really bad. But I work from home, I'm at home all the time or in the gym and I always just like don't like the idea of clogging my skin up with some product that it's not really getting any use out of. Like I am literally inside most of the time. So I always just feel like I shouldn't wear an SPF, even though I know I should, like people say you should wear it anyway, even if you're not going outside. Um, so I said that to her and she said, you probably just not found the right one. Cause I always get really scared as well with maybe trying SPFs and they'll break me out because I've, I've tried some before and they've broken me out. You know, when you're on holiday and things like that. And um, so I've always been scared to use a new one, but I trusted her and she recommended me this. So I've been using this, haven't broken out whatsoever just yet. Fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, but this is from Cantabria Labs, I think. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Um, it's SPF 50 and it's gel oil free. And I have just been putting this on my face and neck as the last step in my skincare routine. Oh, I actually forgot as well. Before the SPF, I go in with the Daily Power Defense from Zo Health. This is like, she told me that it wasn't really a moisturizer, but a hydrating serum. It looks like a moisturizer, um, but she was basically saying to me that if you don't feel like you need extra moisture on your skin, then don't use a moisturizer, because a lot of the time, moisturizers just sit on top of your skin, rather than actually penetrate your skin's layer and actually hydrate, they just sit on your skin, which is why a lot of the time you can break out from moisturizing and having like excess moisture on your skin. But she said with this, with this hydration cream, it actually absorbs into your skin and hydrates. And genuinely, I put this on about five minutes ago and my skin feels almost dry. Like it's it's the slightest bit um, tacky sort of, but it's very like, it literally absorbs into your skin straight away. And it also says that it's anti-aging on the back as well. But like, I'm just so happy with these products, like straight away. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they carry on. And lastly, I always go in with my Laneige lip sleeping mask because I just love this lip balm. I always find my lips actually stay moisturized and I like to put them on. I like and I like to put that on at night as well before I go to sleep. But yeah, that is everything that I'm using. Obviously, this is working for me so far. Like these products might not work for you. I'm not telling you guys to use these or anything, but I'm just letting you know what I'm currently using and how I'm finding them because genuinely I have personally love them so far so i do recommend investing altogether i think these cost me around 400 pounds altogether for all of that which is obviously quite a lot really a lot actually and like that's why i was putting it off for so long buying these products even though i had heard like such good things about them i was putting it off for so long because i feel like sometimes i just think that skincare is like a fad like before i got all this i honestly just use my keels cleanser and then nothing i didn't use a moisturizer or anything i just use like a little bit of a serum like a blemish clearing serum and um, because whenever i've tried to use loads of products and i've bought all these nice fancy products that everybody uses my skin just breaks out and i have just thought that like expensive skincare is a fad but my facialist recommended these so much and i have seen a lot online as i said and you can actually just buy them which also makes me trust them even more because they've got like certain chemicals and products in them which means that you can't buy them over the counter or online so yeah i am loving them so far these pajamas by the way are so cute they're from the white company i got them a few months ago but I just love them so much. I have been invested over the past few months in nice, actually nice pajamas because I always just used to have like the tattiest shorts and like big t-shirt. Like did anybody else just 
go to bed in that because that was me but since i've started like spending a little bit more money on some pajamas it just makes me feel so nice and like expensive like after i've had a shower or a bath and when i just get into bed and read my book it's just one of the things that i just love like am i 21 or 60 who knows i don't know I feel like I'm a grandma, but investing in pajamas has made me very happy. But I'm just about to make my bed because I put my sheets in the wash this morning um, as I fake tanned last night, as I said. So yeah, I'm just gonna make my bed now. Oh my gosh, I haven't shown you this yet. Look what my mum got me, she got me a Dexter. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. Dexter wasn't mine yesterday because my mum brought him and he was cuddling with Dexter, with little Dexter. Although he's not little, he's actually really big, but I'll put a picture on the screen because it was the cutest thing ever. But this is the closest thing I have to him when I'm at my flat right now, when I'm not with him. <laughs> I love it so much. last night was my skincare routine and also me making my bed because I cleaned my sheets yesterday it was Monday yesterday so I like to just have like a fresh start to my week obviously I did my food shop as well and um, but I'm just heading to the gym now as you'll be able to probably tell um, to try and push and to be honest I am quite up for it today I'm not gonna lie I have also been doing a lot of um, filming yesterday and today for like reels and things like that and obviously YouTube um as well but if there is anything in particular like specifically that you want to see from me on youtube or even just like on instagram and tiktok then please let me know i know that you guys like the content that i currently make but if there's something that you feel like i am missing then please let me know but yeah i'm actually really liking my outfit today i'm wearing um honor active unified in plum brown and then my leggings are ash gray but i haven't actually worn this top yet to train in but i feel like this is just the perfect um push day top it's kind of just making me look oh i just went really dark then it's kind of making me look really warm which i quite like i always love a good vest i feel like vests are just made for push days like i love an actual nice flattering vest guys as i told you yesterday i've started my third book in the series that i'm reading it's called a court of wings and ruin i think and i literally started reading it not last night the night before and like i'm already on like chapter 11 or something like this i feel like this book's gonna be my favorite because i have heard that the second book is everyone's favorite and like i did love the second book a lot but i feel like i only really loved it towards the end um but this book i feel like is gonna be my roman empire you know like i feel like this is gonna be my favorite book out of the ones that i've read anyway obviously i've not i've still got the last two to go after i finish this one but i'm really really enjoying this one already like i'm i'm more hooked on the one that i'm reading right now than i was on the second book like at the certain point that i'm in it right now but yeah i'm really enjoying it i also just started season six of game of thrones thoroughly enjoying that as well i feel like they just go so well like they go so hand in hand my book and game of thrones like they are really similar <laughs> with like just like the era that it's set in the kind of stuff that's in it there's lords in both of them like high lords and i don't know i just feel like they're so good to watch together i'm just in that zone you know like all the time For my wins, I need my hands. This life is real. Don't they pretend? Came off the fence. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. Came for my wins. I need my hands. This life is real. Can't play pretend. Came 
Job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun of 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, ten toes, never fold. Bane roll, on the go. Ice hole, ice hole, ice hole. Came for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend. Came off the bench, I get it in. So I hit them on the FaceTime I need it all for them so no I cannot waste time Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline We trust the process and I only know it takes time You can get it, got no worries, I'm gonna make mine Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines Paying taxes at a mortar, which you may not Different bracket, eating off a different plate now I need my hands, this life is real If they pretend, came off the bench Hello, it is now a couple of days later. I didn't vlog the last couple of days just because there was nothing worth vlogging, if I'm being honest. But this morning I have my quads and calves workout. I'm wearing actually a really exciting new outfit from Honor. These tops are the new, I think it's like new Mellow Soft Performance. So the Mellow Soft that you guys like currently have, what I've been currently wearing, is more like lounge. It's not made for performance. It's not really made to wear in the gym, to be honest. Um, but this is like the same kind of thinness. It's lightweight, but it's performance based. And as you'll be able to tell, it has kind of got like the detailing on it here. They're super nice. This is the first time. I've actually worn any of the tops, but so far, I love it. As I said, I'm training quads, so I feel like legs is the ultimate like test <laughs> to see if, you know, what it's like sweat proof wise and things like that. But yeah, this is oil blue, and then this is the oil blue unified legging, uh, leggings, shorts. I have just quickly scrammed a crumpet because I needed some up before my session. But yeah, quads this morning, a little bit nervous, <laughs> as always. If you're not nervous for your quad sessions, then what? Clearly not working hard enough. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do hack squat, leg press, then I don't know what else, but I'm, I'm just like not into the barbell squatting at the moment. I was over the past like couple months, but my back has just been kind of like twinging a little bit, bottom left, like I actually have had that twinge in my back for years. But I just think ignorance is bliss, you know? I just keep ignoring it until, it gets really bad, but I feel like I do need to get checked out. I just hope it's just like a, you know, like a twinged nerve. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a thing. I just made that up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to squat because I feel like it is feeling a little bit, a little bit aggravated today. I don't know why. Do you know what? I think it's when I've been sat on my ass all day because yesterday it was my rest day and I was just sat on my laptop all day um, editing for YouTube and stuff like that. And I, I think that actually makes it worse when I'm sat down for a long period of time. Um, yeah, it kind of hurts a little bit. So yeah, I'm not going to do barbell squats because I'm not trying to risk my life today. Do you know? I'll do the hack squat. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, I feel like doing leg press. I haven't done leg press in ages. I never really do it on my plan. I don't know. Sometimes I do single leg press for glutes. But for the quads, I don't do it that much. But I feel like I need to do it more often. So yeah, that is this morning, and then this afternoon I actually have a hair appointment. I was going to get a blow dry tomorrow, but then um, I realised that it's been six weeks since I last had my extensions refitted. And like when you've got extensions, well the ones that I have, you need to get them refitted every six weeks. So I quickly messaged my hairdresser the other day, Callum, and was like, do you have any availability this week? Because they're so grown out. Like I don't know if you've any of you guys have got a weft but like when your hair grows out they just like kind of stick out i hate it when they're all grown out um so yeah today i'm getting my hair done like actually done washed styled extensions refitted and moved up instead of getting my blow dry tomorrow um so yeah anton's actually coming home tonight as well he was meant to come home tomorrow friday which is his actual birthday but he's coming home late tonight instead he should be here at like nine o'clock ish so i might vlog when he comes or i might finish it after my hair appointment we'll see but this is a long vlog so far so i'm not going to take you through my quad session i have already included two workouts in this video already i literally was editing this video yesterday and it's like 40 minutes long already so yeah i don't want it to be too too long 
but I will take you along on my hair appointment this afternoon. That is my hair done. As I said earlier, I just had my extensions moved up and refitted because they were grown out. But this morning's quad session was actually amazing. I haven't had a good quad session like that in a while where I've literally just been fully in the zone and like pushed myself to my limits. Like I did some exercises that I don't normally do in my quad session. I did leg press and Bulgarians. Never usually do those. I used to do them and then when I changed my plan up, I haven't done them in a while. Um, but it felt good to like actually just push some weight on those like and actually lift just some like really heavy ass weight. Like it just felt really good. Um, so I need to go home and get a shower because this is so gross. But I got back from the gym, had five minutes to literally have a snack. And then I went to a hairdresser because I didn't have time to get a shower or anything which is so gross i did put a tracksuit on i wasn't staying in the sweaty clothes that i was in but i'm excited to go home now and get a shower because it was also so hot in that salon like i'm actually sweaty but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you next week bye